welcome back guys to another video today it is all about sweet potato pie one of my favorite pies to eat and to prepare so I'm going to you know walk you through this recipe I know it's Thanksgiving time and this is a staple in my home so I thought I would share with you so right now I am cleaning the potatoes getting them prepared to be cooked so I'm just scrubbing them really well getting any dirt or residue that's on them peeling off any branches or anything that may be on them and then we're going to put them in the instant pot okay guys we're about to get started with trying on our instant pot for our sweet potatoes I have about six potatoes six to eight potatoes in there and I'm going to put a little bit of water at the bottom not enough to cover the potatoes but just enough to add some water in there to let the potatoes steam while the pressure is cooking them and I'm going to cook them for about 25 minutes I think I hadn't done this since last Thanksgiving so I'm going to cook them for about 25 minutes and if I check to see if they need a little bit more time I'll add a little bit more time to them I'm putting them in the instant pot because they're going to cook quicker quicker than putting them in the oven and even boiling them I prefer to put them in the instant pot because and not the water because I feel like the water takes the like the flavor out of the sweet potatoes so I'm about to add my water into the pan now After adding the water in the pan, I then put the top on, set it to 20 minutes, and let it cook. Okay, the timer is up. I just wanted to show you what it looked like after cooking in the Instant Pot for 20 minutes. It That was super quick, and it was just super easy doing it in the instant pot this is one of my favorite ways to cook sweet potatoes Okay guys, I got my potatoes out of the pressure picker and I'm about to, they've cooled a little bit. I'm about to peel the skin off and get them into the mixer. They're still warm. I actually didn't let them cool down much. <clears throat> Cause I'm actually on a little time crunch. So I'm trying to just get it done. So you just basically get all of the skin off. The potato, just like this. So this is my first batch of potatoes that I have. And I actually started another batch as soon as I pulled these out. So I have quite a bit of pies to make. I'm 
this part right here that you see me grabbing is going to be that stringy part. So I'm just getting what I can off and putting, that's why I'm placing that to the side. The good thing about mixing it up, if you have any strings left, it's like magic. The, the, the strings wrap around this mixer here. It like to pull, it pull, automatically pulls all of the strings out. But because I see these, I'm gonna go ahead and grab them. So I'm just gonna take what I peel and put it in the mixer. And I'm gonna do this until I get all of them done. And then I'll come back and show you the next part. What I decided to do was add a stick of unsalted butter to my mixer. I'm doing this because the potatoes are already still hot. So because I have to add butter anyway, I'm going to just let this butter go ahead and melt down in my potatoes. So knocking two things out at once, basically, is what I'm doing. Now when I make my sweet potatoes, you know, of course I told you guys I'm not a big measure, but I will have the measurements in the description box so you can see what's what. This is my last one. I just wanted to show you how easy it comes off. It's still smoking. It's still hot, actually. You ever heard somebody say, you know, how cookers, if you're a cook, it's kind of like your fingers are you are immune to dealing with hot stuff. So, yeah, it's hot, but I'm used to dealing with it. But, of course, you need to be careful. <laughs> Use caution when you're dealing with warm sweet potatoes. So, this is what it's looking like. So far, I am cooking two, four, six pies. So based on the size of your sweet potatoes, I use normally about two potatoes per pie. So that's why I have a whole nother batch of potatoes cooking, but I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. That liquid in there is not water. It's actually the butter melting from the stick of butter that I put in. These are my pie crusts. These are, uh, seem like gold this Thanksgiving because it took me quite a bit of stores to find these pie crusts. So as you see, I found these at Publix. So I was able to get everything I need. So these are the deep dish nine inch pie crusts that I'm going to be using. I like to use the deep dish because I like a thick potato, sweet potato pie. So. That's why I always get the deep. Now you don't have to get the deep dish if you don't like, but that's just what I choose. So what I'm going to add next is my sugar. I like to do this while it's warm because it just helps that uh, granulated sugar melt down better. I'm actually adding a half a cup of um, white sugar and then I'm going to do a half a cup of brown sugar. I've done white, I've done light brown sugar and dark brown sugar, but what I have is the light brown. So I'm going to add in the half a cup of light brown sugar, and then I'm going to incorporate this. I'm going to add one more half a cup of dark brown sugar. 
and blend that together. I'm making quite a few pies, so what I'm going to do is list the ingredients for to, in order to make one pie. And that way you can just multiply it according to how you need to. So I won't confuse you guys with how to make it. Okay, now I have my eggs to incorporate. So I'm just going to stir these up. I don't know if you ever tempered anything, but basically what I'm what I'm going to do is slowly add in some of that sweet potato mixture to my egg. Now another way you can do is just wait until your potatoes cool off. That'll probably be the easiest way to guarantee that you don't have scrambled eggs. But I've been doing it for a while, so I normally just temper it. That way I can speed my process along. Then I'm gonna add in my evaporated milk. One of my favorite things, I use some condensed milk. And then I'm going to get that blended together. At this point, I did a couple of things while I was off camera. I added some more sugar. I added my cinnamon, my nutmeg, and vanilla flavor. And I added some lemon juice. So, I'm going to taste it at this point just to see what my flavor is like. Now I had I normally do my tasting and make sure everything is right before I add in my egg. Oh my God. It is so good, it's perfect. Perfect sweetness, perfect flavor. I think it's that lemon juice that does it. I actually started adding lemon juice to my sweet potato pie probably Two years ago, ever since I started that, changed the game for me. So I'm going to, I guess I can show you. Yeah, let me show you how I temper my eggs into my mixture before I add it to the pie crust. One second. So basically what I do is to temper your um, eggs so they won't be scrambled eggs inside of your pie, you take some of the ingredients and you add it to the eggs. And then what you're gonna do is just stir. I'll kinda do a little bit at a time. And that's basically bringing that temperature up to where the same temperature the potatoes are. So you just stir and fill in the cup. I can tell the eggs are not as cold as they were. I'm gonna do a little bit more before my cup runneth over. <laughs> but yeah, that's it guys. Once you get this blended in, it'll be the same temperature as the potatoes and then you just pour this inside of your mixture. Give that a blend and then that's it. So basically, you know, it changes it to darker. You can see more so of the potato than the egg. 
So that is how you temper. Okay guys, before I put my mixture inside of the pie crust, I wanted to show you all what I meant by the strings. I know a lot of people have a concern about the strings. So this is how it does. When you have a mixer, all of the strings attached to your paddle. So you don't have to worry about those strings being inside of your mixture. Just wanted to show you that before I finish this up. 